It's very hard to, for me, it's very hard for me to avoid David. I think it's very hard for the modern world to avoid David. He's, he is gone, but he's everywhere. And because David was a true genius. He was also an amazingly good looking man and extremely photogenic. And you might say I was lucky that I got to spend so much time and take so many pictures of him. But on the other hand, when I first met him, there weren't any other photographers around. So maybe I was a little intuitive, or maybe I, I just love the music. But I, the only music that I really knew before I met him was Hunky Dory. And it would be, well, it wasn't long, it was about another three or four months before Ziggy was released. This is from 73, and the guy we used to call Pierre Le Puff, whose real name was Pierre La Roche, did the makeup. But mostly David did his own makeup. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Oh, there it is. Yes. Oops. No. Go back. Come on. Yes. Oh, that one. Yeah. Well, this one, of course, has become a very famous photograph. Um, what I noticed is, is the bananas in the foreground, because David liked bananas. He liked bananas and cornflakes and cigarettes. And um, so I see a number of shots. You can see the bananas are in there. And, uh, but that's not what people focus on. There's something about this through the looking glass picture that he loved. It wasn't finally used on an album cover to the 12 inch collection that was put out about a year before he died. But, well, and of course in this one, this is quite early days with Ziggy, he's not wearing any extravagant makeup. You can see there, he's a bit over his eyes, same shoe. This one was 72, April, I believe. This, of course, is 73, and it was, the shoot was to be part of the package, which of course it was, um, for pinups. Come along, young man, come along. <laughs> ah, I, oops, yeah, that, that's a delayed thing. This was, yeah, I did color in black and white. And he, you know, I like the slightly goofy expression he's pulling. David did have a sense of humor and about himself. Although, oh, yeah, this one's actually the wrong way around. This is a still from one of the videos I did with David called Life on Mars. And he did look pretty bloody spectacular that day. He should be looking the other way. I've made that mistake occasionally over the years. This one, and Freddie Barazzi made in the suits. Oops, I like this. Oh, no, no, did it again. He doesn't like hopping about. Um, so although I'm not here to talk about David Bowie, inevitably I'm talking about David Bowie. And, um, but what with me, I observed that I got, I hadn't shot much performance stuff. I had shot Rory Gallagher. Other than that, I don't think I'd shot any performance pictures before I met David. But I got pretty good at doing it. I mean, I look at this and go, whoop, that's pretty good, mate. I mean, the composition, the perfect uh, profile. So anyway, I suppose I did it a lot. That was why I got good. Sometimes you don't have to do it a lot and you're just born good sometimes. Oh, and I've done a lot of photo art over the years. This one is called Moon Age Daydream. And there's more, and I've got a lot of variations of this. And that's what a boy can do with his own photographs, save other people nicking them and doing artwork, pretending it's theirs, you know. 